Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Funnel Trade. We're going to take our last look at Bloom Burrow Collector Box sales data off of TCG Player in the whole pre-release period and now out to 60 days post-release. It sold 3,696 boxes on the platform at a total of $851,000 for an average price of $230 per box within $1 of that small card store break-even price where they can get it from distribution, ship it through the USPS anywhere in America, pay the high fees on TCG Player or eBay, and break even. So thankfully, a lot of these boxes would have been moved at prices that could have brought in a couple of dollars for even your average small card store. Now, we're going to start putting up other standard expansion collector boxes on here and we'll start out first with the ones from 2024 outlaws and murders you see the red line of outlaws is just a hair below on total spend maybe about forty thousand dollars below what bloombro achieved and then you have the yellow line of murders way 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 down there so we're going to take those off and we're going to add on the ones from 2023 and we plot those up there. So we have this green line of Phyrexia, obviously a very strong performer in its own time. As Watsy told us over and over, the best-selling standard expansion of all time. Purple line of March of the Machines, this reddish line of Lost Caverns of Ixalan, and the yellow line of Wilds of Eldraine. And we see again Bloomborough above all of them. And so we will go all the way back to 2023 let me try and remember the sets man brothers war streets kamigawa what are we missing here there we go dominaria united we'll plot that up and what we see is the green line of the dominaria united lost legends hysteria managed to beat out bloomborough and of course it would all come crashing back down the boxes will lose 50% of their market value and stay there essentially until today the purple line of Kamigawa, of course, driven by the neon parallel Hidesugu cards. And of course, those boxes today in 2024 are really starting to come back into the 240s now. So we see both of those barely edged out the blue line of Bloomborough by maybe about $50,000 each in total spend. Not very much, only about 6% higher. And the red line of Brothers War, the yellow line of Streets, poor old Streets, the Gilded Foils were not enough to do much of anything. So we see if we go all the way back to Kamigawa, the beginning of 2022, almost three years ago, only two standard expansion collector boxes managed to beat Bloomborough in cumulative dollar spend out to the 60-day post-release mark. So very, very good performance. Don't sleep on this one. If you're looking to put back a position in this, you probably ought to go ahead and buy it now. They're still in the 220s out there on TCG Player today, and you can probably find some slightly better deals depending on how far and wide you search around. So this was the 60-day look. That's the last time I take a look at the collector boxes because by now, most of the interesting action is over since these are one and done and they tend to get put into their final diamond hands or opened up by this point in their life of course the play booster boxes of bloomborough i took a look recently at 50 days post release and i'll have another look at 100 and 150 days post release on those subscribe so you don't miss out Thanks to everyone who makes this content possible, especially my very generous supporters on Patreon. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and join me on Final Trade.